thing. Let's send it to Roy McKernan. The past, present, and future of CrossFit will now collide on the floor where the very first workout took place. For the countdown to 16.5, here's Dave Castro. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, go. We are underway at the ranch in Aromas, California. The only time you're gonna see these guys going head to head this year and maybe ever as Ben Smith, Matt Fraser, and Rich Froning kick off 16.5. I'm actually really impressed with Ben Smith. Look how fast he's coming out of the gate. Now we all know, and we've talked about pacing is imperative, but he's really attacking. And I, I wouldn't normally consider him being an attacker of the workouts. He just kind of gets himself going. But wow, he is he's just in assault mode. The leader in the workout will have his name highlighted in blue, and the number of reps he has completed will be in that white box. The two men in red, the number of the white box will indicate how many reps they are behind the leader. And right now, Matt Fraser and Rich Froning are trading the lead, and Ben Smith is just about a half rep behind. So even here in the round of 21, right out of the gates. Watch Matt Fraser. Every rep he goes over the bar, he starts to slowly turn himself around. So he's cutting down that rep in half. Looks very relaxed. And that's real important. This is not where the race is going to be won, that first set of 21. You just need to find yourself a tempo. 13 Matt Fraser continues to work through his 21 burpees, as does Rich Froning. And Froning did this workout in 2014 in San Francisco at Keysar Pavilion. And he actually went up against a bunch of former champions, including women. And remember, when he went out in 2014, he was behind Sam Briggs, and he completed that first round in a minute, 49 seconds. And he does the almost wow. same thing here, about two seconds ahead of that pace. He knows his pace so well. He knows exactly how hard to push. And this is exactly what he did back in 2014. He lets the field get ahead. Let them get comfortable, let them blow out a lot of energy, and then he slowly reels them in. After playing with some of his splits from that year, he found out that all of his reps, every single one, whether it was thrusters or burpees, was virtually the same from the start of the workout all the way to the end. Matt Fraser and Rich Froning are on the lead pace. Ben Smith has the bar down. He's the first man to break up his thrusters. Be sure to send in your tweets. We'll try to get him on, on the screen here as part of our live broadcast from the ranch in Aromas, California, 16.5. Ben Smith, Matt Fraser, and Rich Froning going head-to-head. -head. We're approaching the three-minute mark, and Matt Fraser now slightly ahead of Rich Froning, who's keeping that steady pace as he moves himself up and over that 95-pound bar. Watch Rich Froning. The last time he did this workout, both feet would come flying up. But you see him stepping up now. Really, really smart. What that does is it allows him to not have to pop his hips so much. He steps closer to the bar so he doesn't have to jump over as far. Very, very smart. And I'm surprised. I'm Not that I'm surprised that he isn't a smart athlete. Last time he didn't have to do that. Ben Smith is falling off the pace just slightly. Rich Froning about a rep or two behind Matt Fraser. Rich Froning in 2014 got done with his 18 rep round in 336. And once again, he is on that pace. Fraser is done with the round of 18. He'll be the first of the barbell on the left of your screen in the black shirt. 15 reps now at 95 pounds. Sean, just before the workout, just before these guys got on the floor, when, once they announced the workout, we saw Matt run over to Ben, uh, ben Bergeron and get a little bit of some helpful tips there. So I think that that turn on the burpee, you see him actually resting up top, stealing a little bit of Rich Froney's technique. I think that's really smart for Matt. Fraser starting to put some distance between himself and Froning and Ben Smith. Smith is now solidly in third and needs to play a little bit of catch up as now Fraser is on to his round of 15. And Phil mentioned Ben Bergeron. He is the coach of Catherine David's daughter, the man who brought her from missing the games to winning them in 2015. Not a bad coach to have in your corner. 
Now, one thing we haven't really talked about, and we don't really like to say things like this, you know, whether a workout is a big man's workout, a small man's workout, but this is a range of motion workout. You have that thruster, the distance that that bar has to travel, or how far do you have to go from laying on the ground to jumping over the bar? And the shortest athlete out there is Matt Frazier. So that means he has less distance to travel. So he actually does have the advantage. Right now, Fraser has a four rep advantage on Rich Froning, a seven rep lead on Ben Smith, and now one to go on his 15 burpees. And Fraser taking a break to strip off a shirt and move to the barbell for his 12 thrusters. Now, Matt Fraser, we've seen other athletes who go out this quickly. They're not Matt Fraser. If a guy can maintain this pace, it's him. The guy can take pain. He can put himself into that really dark place and just stay there knowing that he'll get to the end eventually. He right now is ahead of Rich's time from 2014. Now in that, that, in that year, Matt beat Rich by about 10 seconds. So he is on, he's on his own pace to do the same thing he did that year. And also that year when Rich Stroney did this workout live, he was chasing down Samantha Briggs and wound up passing her. Later on in this workout, around the round of nine, is when Rich Stroney took the lead, and he's creeping up on Matt Frazier. He's got the barbell down. Frazier's working on his burpees, as is Rich Stroney. Ben Smith, 12 reps back of the leader. The battle between these two men, Matt Frazier on the left and Rich Stroney on the right. You see that little sidestep with Rich Stroney, trying to save a little bit of energy. We're going to see if he can use that when we get down to the fast rounds of 9, 6, and 3 so he can play catch-up. Fraser's done. He moves to 9. And if you watch him closely, he was taking a look over to his left to see what Froning was doing. And Matt Fraser's right back on the bar barbell as we're past 6 minutes. And Fraser is leaving both Smith and Froning well behind him. Rich Froning finishes 12 reps at 6.23, so he's behind that pace that he set a couple years ago. But Matt is just about 10 seconds ahead of that. So he is on pace for his time. And you, you know, we talked about this earlier. He's got something to prove. He needs to show these guys what he's all about. He wants to show everyone that, you know what, that second place is not the first loser, as you know, a lot of people say with that number two spot. I mean, he is the real deal. Rich Froning on the right of your screen, trying to catch up with Matt Fraser who set a frantic pace to start. He has pretty much kept that. He's almost through his round of nine. Ben Smith, 17 reps off the lead pace. And now Frazier with two barbells to go, six reps on this one. And Rich Froning is still working on his burpee. So Matt Frazier is making a statement in Aromas. Almost seven and a half minutes gone here in 16. Point five, the first time these three men have ever been here competing at the ranch and possibly the last time we see them compete together as individuals. Throning, of course, in the team competition, Smith and Fraser are individual competitors. And Matt Fraser getting set to wrap up his six burpees, and he is leaving Rich Throning and Ben Smith in his dust. And he is moving so fast. On to the final barbell. Three thrusters, three bar-facing burpees, and maybe one big win here at the famous ranch in Aromas, California. Three burpees remain for Matt Fraser, who does not have a championship, but right now, Fraser has bragging rights and a whole lot of confidence, Ooh. and that could be dangerous in July. Wow. He just did not stop at all. He's so good at just staying in that pain zone knowing that he can relax at the end, but doesn't stop, did not quit at all. Ben Smith is on his round of six. Rich Froning is on his round of three. Froning's going to wrap up a second place finish. And the defending fittest man on earth, Ben Smith, will finish third. Froning is in. Does not beat his time that he set in 2014. Congratulates Matt Fraser. Now Ben Smith, the only one who needs to finish up. He moves to the final barbell. And Ben Smith is a little ahead of the pace that he had in 2014. You know, and, and, and even though he's taking third place here, when you get a better score than you had, you really can't be bummed out about that. An improvement is improvement. Great job for Ben Smith. Ben Smith in.
at 906.8. Red Schroding will finish in second place. The first time that Froding has not won an open announcement. And Matt Fraser is the winner. He came out early, set the pace, held the lead, and then something that we don't see people do often when they're facing Rich Froning, kept it. And, and, and this workout smashed people to the ground, but look at him. He's walking around, no big deal. Let me get my glasses.